I think uh, everyone's aware of the severe weather conditions that we can have here in Florida, the extremes in temperature and rainfall and what have you, but um, how can we use a greenhouse in Florida? Well, a greenhouse can be a really important tool from the disease management aspect because we can all of a sudden control some of those weather events uh, by bringing the crop into the greenhouse. We can eliminate the problems with rainfall and wind kinds of conditions. So the greenhouse can be a really valuable tool for us even here in Florida. Uh, from a disease standpoint, you know, there's three things that we always learned in, in the mm -hmm. classroom that are important for a disease to actually become a problem. And that is that you have to have the proper crop or host for that disease to be uh, pr uh, able to produce on. You have to have the disease organism itself, which in most cases in our greenhouse crops would either be a bacteria or a fungus organism. And so if you have the organism and you have the proper crop, the last thing you need for that disease to become a problem is the right environmental conditions for that disease to grow. So our strategy in the greenhouse really is focused on trying to eliminate that, port, that part of the triangle, the environmental conditions. We can manage the environment inside this greenhouse um, and, and help us to minimize and eliminate those mm -hmm. diseases without having to worry about spraying for them. What, what are some of those things that we can use here in the greenhouse or do in the greenhouse to, to change that environment? Well, one of the first things that a grower is going to want to do is to choose the right variety. If we're looking at something, a uh, very common crop in greenhouse hydroponic systems would be tomatoes. And, mm -hmm. you know, Richard, I remember back 10 or 15 years ago, there was a disease known as leaf mold. And it was a very common prevalent organism, but we we now have varieties of tomatoes that are resistant to that. So uh, we've been able to eliminate mm -hmm. that particular disease organism just by choosing the right variety. So variety selection is very important. Once we get the crop planted and growing in the greenhouse, then we want to try to attack this environmental control issue and deal with ways to eliminate the moisture from the greenhouse. If I ever walk into a greenhouse and I see the plants that are wet and have free moisture on the plants, I know that that grower is probably heading for trouble. So we want to be able to, to do some things that are going to eliminate that free moisture on the plants. The way we can do that is to have air that would flow in the greenhouse continually around in a circular motion. And we use what's called a horizontal airflow fan. And those fans continue to, to continue to move air, mm -hmm. and that helps eliminate this free moisture from forming on the plants overnight. In addition, we can use a combination of heating the greenhouse and then ventilating that hot, moist air out of the greenhouse, bringing cooler, drier air into mm -hmm. the greenhouse. And that also helps this free moisture issue. So we can, uh, we can do some things. It's all targeted around trying to minimize that free moisture, reduce the the humidity in the greenhouse and environment. And those are, those are key issues for environmental controls. Well, from your experience, what are the most common diseases that you'd expect to run into in a greenhouse situation? Well, there's a, there, there are several diseases that are uh, able to attack a wide variety of crops. And probably the first one that comes to mind is something like botrytis or yeah. gray mold. It, it, it can attack a wide range of crops and is, is, is a pretty aggressive uh, fungus organism, so that certainly is one of them. Uh, things like leaf spots are, are, mm -hmm. are pretty prevalent on a number of crops. In some of our hydroponic systems, we've got to keep the root system in a favorable environment, mm -hmm. and if we don't do that, if the water temperatures get too high or, or uh, other situations that reduce the oxygen in that rooting environment, then we can have some organisms like Pythium root rot that can move in uh, to, into the rooting system there. But, you know, it's kind of strange that we, we do all these things to, to reduce the moisture in the greenhouse, and that helps us on most of these uh, fungus and bacteria organisms, but there's one that we have a problem with here, and that is powdery mildew. Mm -hmm. And powdery mildew is also a, an organism that can attack a wide range of, of our crops that we commonly grow in these hydroponic systems, and it has the advantage in that it's able to attack and get established in these crops under a little drier kind of condition but I'll take powdery mildew over, over mm -hmm. botrytis uh, gray mold any day. Well, it's good to know that in a greenhouse situation where you can control the environment, 
that you have an opportunity to use those techniques to uh, manage diseases as well. It's a, it's a big advantage for us here in Florida, Richard, that we can, we can produce at a time when you wouldn't even mm -hmm. think of maybe producing that particular crop outside with the extreme weather conditions that we have here in Florida. So the greenhouse is a valuable tool for us.